Aside from just picking this book because it was adorable, I picked it because I want to become a history teacher, and you can use this book to sort of introduce the labor union movement in the 1800s. The cows go on strike, they stop working, you, know, you can see over here, no eggs today. This is how the workers would negotiate with the bosses to try and get better conditions. In this case, it's electric blankets. <laughs> nice. What other ideas? What else could you do with this? Well, one thing. Um, okay. I was thinking about Animal Farm and intro to Animal Farm with all the animal talk and the farms. Like, so you're like a paired text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Um, I was thinking um, you could write a letter to, like, have the kids in your class, if it was like older age group, like middle school or high school, a letter to their local or to our, the senator or congressman or something like that for like an issue um, that they didn't agree with. Um, just because they were like standing up for themselves and you know, like directly um, connecting with like the owner. So, that's so that's like persuasive writing in ELA. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Other ideas? I was thinking you could just teach like the letter format to like younger kids and have them like mm. write a letter to like somebody. It doesn't really matter who it is. You can nice. use all the animals and do like a science lesson on the animals and just that. Yeah. Awesome. What else? Any other ideas? <laughs> what could you do with a math lesson? You can count the eggs and the cows and the ducks and all the animals. Yep. So why would you, how could you do that right at that moment or later on? Later on you could, um, like, I guess like around Halloween. It's not Halloween, I'm at Easter. <laughs> <laughs> you could, um, you know, bring in eggs and you could also make an art lesson. Yeah. You could use little figurines for them to count the, the cows. Like they would like chickens. that, wouldn't they, little children? So what would it do if you had this book in the morning and you did that math lesson in the afternoon? It ties it all together and it reinforces it because they can think back to the book and they find that connection. Excellent. Any other ideas? Good job, Jackson. Everybody give him a nice round of applause.